Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out a request from Plasma Gaming called Springboard by Tommy Simon 75 A concept I've been putting together in my head all day. Enjoy. Alright, let's get started, shall we? Huh, those look like stairs. Gotcha. So, I'm thinking we just take the cube over the fizzler like that. No, I don't see any reason not to. That opens the exit. Interesting. What's up with that? Huh. Is there anything we can see up here? Not particular. Oh, there is actually. What do we have up here? An area we can't get to yet. Okay. Then we can also... Okay. Oh, these stairs are up, I didn't even notice. Oh, I could've done that without using the faceplate. Interesting. Hmm. Do we just need the cube with us? Yeah, cause the ant line goes here, duh. There we go, take the cube off. Allows us to get across. Not sure what the point of the, this bounce gel area is, but I mean... Oops. Well, that's a bit of an issue. Okay. Somehow I lost sight of that cube for quite a while. There we go. Uh, I guess we just immediately put the cube here and then forget about it. And then we take the regular cube back instead. What am I getting stuck on here? Is it this grating on the floor? How did you even get grating here? What? It's not connected to anything, except for- can you put- can you actually do this? Can you put grating on an observation window? I thought that the game wouldn't let you do that. Maybe this is Bmod or something. I don't know. Weird. Well, we have... Bounce Jill, apparently? Okay, then. Oh, I have to press both- what? Why do I have to press both buttons at once? What's the point of that? I mean, that's not- that's not challenging in the slightest. Alright. I think that's all we needed to do. Let's just try doing that. Oh, where did that come from? I guess that was what the lasers activated. Oh yeah, because it's got signage on it. Ah, the, it also removed the old ceiling tiles. Alright, well, that wasn't much of a puzzle, that was just kind of walking around pushing buttons. So, yeah. The issue with that is that there was no- there was no talent, I just immediately did the next obvious step, and didn't have to think about any of my actions or the implications of my actions at all. So, uh, yeah, I would recommend watching Demon Arisen's series on how to make great test chambers, and also reading Rectorox's guide. But this is definitely better than some of the other stuff I've seen. This one, at least, was reasonable and not deadly. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!